Wata Basson, born July 6, 1950, is a South African cardiologist and former head of the country's secret chemical and biological warfare project, Project Coast, during the apartheid era. Nicknamed Dr. Death for his alleged actions in apartheid South Africa, Basson was acquitted in 2002 of 67 charges, after having been suspended from his army post with full pay in 1999. Among other charges, Basson was alleged to have supplied a lethal triple cocktail of powerful muscle relaxants which were used during Operation Duel, the systematic elimination of SWAPO prisoners of war and South African Defense Force SADF, members who posed a threat to South African covert operations. In November 2008, Basson was charged at a hearing of the Health Professions Council of South Africa with offenses stemming from his time as an apartheid-era germ warfare expert. The hearing was postponed on an application submitted by the prosecution. On 30 June 2010 the application by Wouter Basson to the South African High Court was rejected. The application to the High Court attempted to have the charges set aside as unlawful, unreasonable and unfair. The judge found that there was no evidence to suggest that the counsel was influenced to be biased or prejudiced against the doctor. Project Coast Much of what Basson was working on is still secret. It is known that in 1981, when he was working as a personal physician to State President P. W. Bota, the country's Surgeon General hired Basson to work for the 7th SAMS Medical Battalion, the SADF's Medical Military Unit. His job was to collect information about other countries' chemical and biological warfare capabilities under the name Project Coast. After his preliminary report, Basson became the head project officer and began to work on the country's chemical and biological weapons capability. He recruited about 200 researchers from around the world and received annual funds equivalent to $10 million. In 1982, Basson is alleged to have arranged the killing of 200 SWAPO prisoners. Project Coast secretly researched chemical and biological warfare in violation of the International BTWC Agreement. Basson created four front companies, Delta G Scientific Company, Rudipla Research Laboratories, RRL, Protechnic and Infidel, which in 1989 was split into two companies, D. John Truter Financial Consultants and Sefmed Information Services. The companies were used to officially distance the military from the project, to procure necessary chemicals and channel funds for the research. According to later investigation, Basson had a free reign to do what he wanted. Delta G did most of the research, production and development of the chemical agents while RRL developed chemical and biological pathogens and allegedly was involved with genetic engineering. Protechnic was a large nuclear, biological and chemical warfare plant developing defenses against chemical weapons. Infidel dealt with those on a smaller scale and concentrated on financing and administration of other units and possibly channeling funds between military and research facilities. Many of the employees were not aware of what they were involved with. In the 1980s Basson and the project were allegedly involved with attacks and assassinations against the members of anti-apartheid movements. African leaders in South Africa, Angola and Namibia also claimed that the more dangerous chemicals were used for crowd control in the country, although the government claimed otherwise and claimed that chemical weapons were used against South African troops. Basson provided the Civil Cooperation Bureau CCB, with lethal chemicals to be used against prominent anti-apartheid activists. 
Basson continued to travel all over the world to gather information about chemical and biological warfare programs and set up other shell and paper companies as additional front companies, possibly for money laundering. When F. W. de Klerk became president in 1990, he ordered the production of the chemicals to be stopped and the lethal agents destroyed. Basson concentrated on non-lethal chemical agents and chemicals the government had not banned. That included a large amount of ecstasy and mandrax that were apparently exported or allegedly sold, to the drug dealers in communities active in the anti-apartheid movement, see Basson Brownies. Most of the stockpile disappeared afterwards. Scientists working on the project later stated that they believed it was to be used to create drug-laced tear gas. In January 1992, Mozambique reported that a South African helicopter had attacked their soldiers by releasing an unknown lethal substance that led to four fatalities. Investigation by the United Nations, US and the United Kingdom identified it as BZ nerve agent. USA and Britain began to pressure the South African government, and in January 1993 Project Coast was wound down. Basson was officially retired and hired to dismantle the project, and allegedly profited when some of the South African front companies were privatized. Later government investigation found that there were large amounts of chemicals and agents missing. TRC investigation. In 1993 the Office of Serious Economic Offenses, OSCO, began to investigate Basson's business dealings in an as yet unheard of seven-year forensic audit. In 1995 the South African government hired Basson to work for Transnet, a transportation and infrastructure company and possibly for other more secretive jobs. The USA and UK government suspected that during his visits to Libya between 1993 to 1995, Basson might have sold chemical and biological weapons secrets. In 1995, the government of Nelson Mandela rehired Basson as an army surgeon, allegedly due to USA and UK pressure and possibly because the government wanted to keep an eye on him. In 1996, South Africa's Truth and Reconciliation Commission, TRC, began to investigate the SADF and determined that the army had probably used lethal toxins against ANC activists. Basson was connected to many of these attacks. In 1997, the CIA told the South African government that Basson intended to leave the country. When Basson was arrested in a sting operation in Pretoria, he had a large quantity of ecstasy pills and various documents with him. TRC began to investigate Project Coast which led them to suspect that Basson had sold his secrets to governments of countries like Libya and Iraq. In 1997 they asked the help of the Netherlands Institute for Southern Africa NIZA, whose investigation report was included in the Truth Commission files. At the same time, the Office for Serious Economic Offenses, the National Intelligence Agency, NIA, and the Gauteng Attorney General's Special Investigation Team investigated Basson's affairs. Conflict of interest slowed down the Commission investigation but the TRC gained more information from OSIO. Basson was arrested in a sting operation in 1997 for the attempted sale and possession of 1,000 ecstasy tablets. At the time, he had hundreds of secret Project Coast documents in his car. Basson appeared before the TRC on July 31, 1998, and gave evidence for 12 hours. His lawyers constantly interrupted the questioning with legal technicalities but the commission determined that Basson had been the primary decision maker in Project Coast and should be put on trial. Trial? 
Basson's trial began on October 4, 1999 in Pretoria. At the time, the South African media had dubbed him Dr. Death. Basson faced 67 charges, including drug possession, drug trafficking, fraud and embezzlement of a total of R36,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,